overnight, the markets have been pumping. We saw a great rally to end yesterday. Overseas markets definitely loving this. And because that Shiba Inu and the overall crypto market are doing quite well. But really, the big question is, is what is it going to take for us to have a March level event? And what if I told you that there were some things showing that the market is actually conducive for a surge like this now? I'm Lockside. Welcome to the channel. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again. It's free to do and it will keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So the, the greatest thing about SHIB right now is that we're finally getting back on script. Since August, Shiba Inu has been trying to get back to this, this basically bull market trend line, right? And that has been from all the way down here in this fire sale range back in October of 2023 through now. We dip below this to begin September. September has kind of sucked. Go figure. September normally sucks. But now we're actually climbing to some prices that we have not seen since August, which is a very good sign for Shiba Inu. What do we need for us to go on this massive surge, this this basically four and a half X run that are three and a half X run that we did during that time? And it's all about new capital entering the market. Frankly, during that time, we saw a lot of new onboarding when it came to capital from from basically January through uh, the start of March. We actually saw about. 10 billion USDT minted in the market. And that's not surprising, right? People were throwing money in left and right. Times were buzzing, very a lot of excitement. And again, this is where something like Shiba Inu tends to perform quite well. And recently here, although we have seen some minting, we've seen some pumping in terms of, of BTC. Some of this has to do obviously with institutional money flowing in as well. But we've we've gotten kind of flat. We've slowed down a little bit. Now, what I will say is this is USDT has not stopped uh, minting or, or printing USDT. OK, there is there are tether. Sorry, tether has not stopped printing USDT. And in fact, there was just another one billion USDT minted just the other day. So we are still seeing some slower inflows of capital. And that is an important thing, right? We don't want to see dips kind of like we experienced back here in July where people were actually pulling capital out of the market. So we're still headed the right direction here. Now, what really makes this interesting is this coincides with assets being removed from the market, being removed from exchanges, right? We're seeing this in terms of BTC. We're seeing this in terms of Shiba Inu, and it's happening for Shiba Inu in a very, very big way. In fact, when we look at just, let's say, oh, since January, you guys can see what the overall trend for this has been, down and to the right. In fact, just yesterday, we hit another new all-time low in terms of available Shiba Inu in the market. And that brings me to this, right? We, we are kind of setting up for this moment where that is going to be very much reflected in price. Now, this isn't a guarantee. This isn't financial advice, but really, you really have to think about it, right? When all this capital is flowing into the market and it's flowing in to buy assets and assets aren't available, that's the direction that price tends to go. For example, take a look back here in late 2021. There was a significant, a significant amount of capital flowing into the market and not much available supply on exchanges. Almost actually almost uh, one. What's that? 50 percent higher than where we're at currently. And you guys can see what happened in terms of the price of ship. It did a 10x in a very short period of time. And we dropped down to 147, 148 trillion ship available on exchanges. OK, and that was at a price almost what, eight times, seven times higher than where we're at currently. Fast forward to now, look at look at March here, right? March is kind of a weird scenario where basically from January through to the start of March, we actually saw a little bit of inflows, about 4 trillion SHIB enter the market. But then you guys saw the removal, the removal, the removal, right? And right now we're kind of following exactly what we did on this long-term trend down during the bear market cycle where price was kind of in a direct correlation with supply. And then there was that inflection point, that, that point where price just decided to take off. So right now, SHIB price has been chopping, but supply has been dropping, all right? <laughs> price price chopping, supply dropping. And eventually, there's not enough to go around, all right? So what we really need to see is we just need to see higher inflows of USDT, more capital entering the market. The great news, Tether has actually confirmed that that all these reserves are there, which is an important thing. I think that's been a big question for a lot of people. Do they actually have the capital to back this up? Would you be will, able, excuse me, to cash out if you needed to? Yes, all their all their uh, reserves are intact. 
And again, we're doing some very important things on the BTC chart. We're, we're trying to set a new local high here. We're above our 20 week moving average. I mean, all the all the right pieces are in place when it comes to having a March level event. It's all, all just a question of if it happens, right? I will say this, you know, I've had people comment about this that, you know, I've made bad predictions and things like that. And, and frankly, you have to understand that the charts don't always do what you want. There's a way that the charts should go, but they don't always happen. So we've been talking about Shiba Inu supply for a very long period of time. And frankly, we're at dangerously low levels. Really think about this. There is less available supply on exchanges right now than there was at the all time high back in 2021. What that means is that if you have a huge surge of capital come in, price is going to go berserk. It's it's not rocket science. All right. It's just simple math. It's how liquidity pools work. And SHIB, again, when new capital is flowing, it tends to get hit some of the hardest in the market. What do we think is going to happen here? Probably sometime in the near term. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check out Margex. There is a referral link in the description below. Again, you can earn up to $10,000 in deposit and trading bonuses. There's no KYC. A couple members have already been doing quite well, uh, profiting very huge on some of their positions. But appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.